health leaders are saying that we're experiencing a triple demic with COVID-19, flu and RSV. So what is that looking like in terms of emergency room wait times and just overall operation? Well, you know, during the height of RSV particularly, um, it, it slowed the emergency room down. And the fact that um, uh, our patients are sicker, that are on the units today to be able to treat them and move them back to home or to nursing homes or wherever it is they need to go has also added to the backlog and the wait times. Right now we're blessed because we've steadily been in the 20s or 30s in terms of COVID patients. Today we have no flu and no RSV in-house, so that's something to celebrate as well. RSV has died off just a little bit, but it's still very much present. and. Our volumes in the emergency department within Montgomery County, within Holy Cross, and within the state of Maryland have all been very high. So it has impacted the amount of time that patients and their families uh, are, are experiencing in the emergency departments. Some of the speakers today, they were touched on staffing shortages, fatigue, burnout, of course. Can you speak to some of that and what that's looking like at Holy Cross? So we've celebrated the third anniversary of the COVID pandemic, which started back in January and February of 2020. The COVID pandemic has had a toll on all healthcare providers and hospitals across the country, including Holy Cross. We've gotten through the COVID pandemic and we continue to address any type of outbreaks that occur with COVID, RSV and influenza. We're working hard with our staff, we're working hard with our patients and their families to make sure that we deliver the best care that we possibly can. It's actually looking better. We've uh, put a lot of things in place working on resilience and mindfulness for the staff, trying to, to work through the burnout and the, it's almost like a PTSD that our staff members have had after all of this time with the pandemic. Of course, that won't get better completely until we're able to get across the staffing shortages, the staffing crisis and everything right now too.